Ladies and gents, Crafty Loz's bar is open. Oh yeah. Hi guys, we're here from Wine Jam doing another Crafty Loz's show. As you can see, we're outside another craft beer shop. We bought beer, we've just recently found it, and so we're now quite excited. It's got a beer garden, we're gonna check that out, and we're gonna try out three IPAs. So uh, yeah, come along. Hey guys, hey. welcome back. We're here with Some Cash and Crafty Loza. As you can see, we're here doing another episode of the Crafty Loza Show. Hey. Uh, and we're in a garden now. So it's beautiful, lovely sunshine, and we've got three lovely beers to have. This is going to be an IPA episode. So we've got Gypsy Hill Drifters, which is a local beer from London. And also we've got uh, Brew Bar Numbers, uh, Indian Pale Ale, and we also got something really interesting from Estonia. I'm trying to try to say it. It's going uh, to. Pohala. Valmerezd. Valmerezd. GF. Sounds like that more sounds like a Russian. Viking, <laughs> a Viking, a Viking beer. Um, anyway, this is like more of a grapefruity taste, so I'm quite looking forward to having that. So uh, let's get cracking. Yeah, I agree. So we're going to try the first one. Mm -hmm. This is an IPA and it uses hops from the east coast of the US of A. So not the west coast. Not the west coast. Not the west coast. So this will be quite good. It's going to be tropical notes, so uh, let's get cracking. Tropical. Okay, I like this idea. Whoa, check out the foamness. Foam. There's loads of foamness. Yeah, I didn't pull that. Is it just a glass? It's just me. No, it, it's, it, I have no angle on that, so. <laughs> Too bad, pour it. <laughs> right. Oof. Crunchy. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it is tropical fruits. It's definitely pineapple kind of apricots. Um, Lots of stone fruit. No. Actually, you've noticed punch is a bit light. It's not overpowering. It's quite well balanced. It's really smooth, actually, with the, yeah. the finish of this. Yeah. As um, it's something like 7%, you don't you expect it to be really? a bit harsh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. It is 7%. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I think that's, uh, that is actually a 7 out of 10 for me. 7 me. out of 10, the amount of alcohol. <laughs> because of the alcohol speaking, but not me. Yeah, no, I, no, I quite like it. I'd say, I'd, I don't want to agree with you at 10%, but I think I'm going to. So, yeah. 7 out of 10 as well for you? 7 out of 10. All right. Cheers. Gypsy here. Refreshing. We're on our second, third, oh, I've lost count already. Well, the last one was 7%, so who blames us? 6.5 now, is that okay with you? Yeah, is it? Yes, it is. Oh, another big, heavy one. Great. <laughs> That's what we always wanted. Okay, so this one here is brewed by Numbers. They're another London beer, uh, another local one. This is from uh, London Bridge, the Southwark area uh, near Bermondsey. So, uh, yeah. Cool, cool. All right, okay, fair. let's go for it. No, really. well, well made this is like nutty on the finish of this, so you think like nutmegs, um, sort of chestnut, that mm. kind of thing. It's a bit, but it's got some, it's got some maltness to it. Mm. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, it's just a, just a tad. It goes far, it goes down far too easily, by the way, at 6.5%. I mean, another really well made beer. Yeah, that's, that's really good. What was the style of flavors for this one? For this one, it was a uh, punchy grapefruit, lime, and orange. Do you, do you think you get that? Lime and orange makes it sound like it's supposed to be citrusy, but I don't really get I get more of a kind of rounded feel to this. There's a bit of grapefruit, but not, I wouldn't say a great deal. No, okay. Orange, I'm not sure about. Interesting. For me, it's a, another good classic. I have to say, seven, I think I expected maybe a bit more as far as my L's concerned. I don't know about you. I think it's really good. Um, one thing I saw on the website is that they do a hell of a lot of beer. That's why they've, they've got this catalogue uh, way of, uh, of organising it. The, the numbers on the front that we try looking up the recipe um, the style is 0 0.5 and then you go 17 you find it on their website really easily so hence why that number's there and, yeah. I, and guess that's why they're called brewed by numbers so if they're going to be doing um, so many beers is that do they have all of them at once or uh, do they actually slowly sort of like <laughs> put them out because that's a lot of brewing that is true that's a lot of brewing so yeah. I'd love to actually go there hopefully another episode and check it out how they actually that 
that is that sounds like my, my ideal Sunday. Yes, <laughs> if I ever have one. All right. Yeah. Cheers. On to the next one. The next one. Hey, I think we're on third. third. One. Yes, that's right. Maybe that's after the last two, we have no idea. Really interesting. We're being one professional, here. but honestly, when we hit seven and six point five, and what's this one? Uh, this is six point five. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so uh, let's just pour this because I, mean, I will do the pouring this time. Oh, really? Last time you you went too far. Okay, so this is an Estonian IPA, and the flavours are grapefruit. Grapefruit and more grapefruit. What really? This is it's full full flavour. I don't even know if they actually put grapefruit in it. It's just the way they make it. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't smell of grapefruit. It's six point five percent. It doesn't actually smell of grapefruit. I don't like. It does taste of grapefruit. It does actually taste of grapefruit. It doesn't smell like grapefruit, but it tastes of grapefruit. Mm. So clearly there's something wrong with my nose and uh, something like right the palate. What do you think? I don't even realise Estonia actually made I can't taste craft beer. Yeah, that's actually far too easy. It's like a, it's like a Fanta, <laughs> grapefruit Fanta. <laughs> really like two point five percent. I wouldn't expect that. Or, I don't know. Yeah, I actually I don't. Expect, that's really bad. Actually, the last three beers we've had is like six, seven percent, and we haven't actually noticed the alcohol. That's quite dangerous. Or it's really good, depending how you want to look at it. See that just I was a cheers to that. Uh, All right. Um, yeah, out of ten, what would you put this? Because <laughs> if, if you want to go, if you want to get something and you're like, I don't care, I would want, want a drink. This is like nine out of ten. But if you're like a connoisseur, I would say about six. So if you can have anything with breakfast, I would have this <laughs> instead of having a grapefruit. <laughs> yeah, forget, take out the grapefruit of your breakfast and just have this instead. <laughs> All right, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> then to the next one. So uh, we've had the three <laughs> very alcoholic uh, beers. Uh, it's one hell of a session. So what a hell of a session. I think what we're going to do now is just say, what is your favourite of the three? My favourite. Well, the things were really good three. I have to say, um, as far as drinking, this was just this went down far too easily. Um, but for me, I think it's got to be Gypsy Hill just because it's not something I've usually come across. Mm. So. Um, I've got to say, I really like that. But I think, what, hang on, we put like 7 out of 10 for that, didn't we? Yeah, we, had we had 7 out of 10 for that. I'm not too sure we gave that anything. Oh, um, when we did the brief now. numbers, yeah, go on. It's supposed to be my favourite. I, I could probably say that's about uh, eight, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Yep. Okay. Okay, I think I might have to move that up to about 7.5. I'm being very precise because I know there's going to be more episodes coming. I think so, that. That's, that's, that, that will be my favourite. Gypsy Hill, made by Gypsies. But this was amazing. So how can you, how can you put that third? I oh. just think there's just grapefruit. I think that's the issue with it. I think it was really interesting the flavour. All of them. All right, so this is my favourite. I don't that's expect your them to be like seven percent, six point five. This definitely keep, this They're did so kick well ass, made. and this is like a festival ale. Like, that's what I would go like. It's a festival ale. You drink it. You're like, you don't care, it tastes great, and that's what, that's what you do. All right, well, guys, cheers to another episode. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, this is We Bought Beer, so I should already know this, but uh, thank you very much to them uh, yes. allowing us to sit in their garden. And, uh, yeah, it's been a great experience. Yeah. So, cheers. Excellent. Cheers. See you again in Wine Jam. Yeah.